Hello YouTube and welcome to another MongoDB tutorial. So in this video we will execute some simple queries but using what we call query operators. So are you ready? Let's get started. So my server MongoDB is running. So let's connect to it using just Mongo shell. So I will just type here Mongo. Okay. So by default, I am on the test database. Let me just show you the collection that I have here. So here we have a couple of connections or actually collections, yes. And we'll be using a very famous sample collection called restaurants. You will find actually the download link in the description and also if you want to import it you can take a look at the previous video that I have done in order to import the restaurant database okay and also in my previous uh, videos I showed you some very simple queries against this restaurant collection but now we'll go to the part two okay so first of all let me show you the structure of this restaurant collection I will here just so show you actually the first document in order just to see the fields that it contains so of course in the restaurants collection we have some documents so each document is related to a restaurant so every restaurant has as you can see here a name and a restaurant ID and also it has some grades so with each date it has a grade and also a score so the grades field is actually composed of nested fields like date grade and score okay and if we go up you can see actually that have also each restaurant has a cuisine type so here it's a bakery it has a borough or actually an area where it's located and it has also a field called address which is also consists of different nested fields like building coordinate street and zip code so keep that in memory because in our queries we will have to query some data inside this document okay so let's begin so let's say for example that we want to find all the restaurants that achieve a score more than 90 so here you can see that we must query this field grades and also here the subfield score so we want to get all the restaurants that have actually score more than 90 and to achieve that we will use a query operator greater than so I will show you here so let me clear the screen here so I will query my restaurants collection here we go dot find so of course I have to open parentheses and also a curly braces okay so what I want here I want score so score is actually under the grade fields so I will put here grades so let's make sure to write it very well grades that score so this subfield must be actually greater than 90 and the column and I have also to open a pair of uh, curly braces and here we will use the operator query greater than than what than 90 okay and I have to open or to close actually the curly braces the first curly braces one using this and of course we have our closing parentheses so this is our query so here we want all the restaurants that have actually 
score greater than 90 and it's achieved using this query operator greater than okay so let's run it and see here we go so here you can see for example this one has a score more than 90 because it has 98 okay and let's see also this restaurant also it has a score more than 90 okay so actually here you will get so this one for example this restaurant has 92 so we have achieved our goal we have all the restaurants that have at least a score of or more than 90 okay so let's clear the screen and let's try to execute another query for example this time we want all the restaurants that have a score more than 80 for example but less than 100 how to achieve that okay so let me show you the same actually uh, query that we have execute previously so here we want all the score to be greater than 80 okay so we have just to change 90 by 80 but we have to add something we want the restaurant to be less than 100 so all we have to do is to add here a comma then our query operator less than okay so lt means less than and of course the value is 100 so it's simple as that so here actually we have two nested queries okay we want all the restaurants that have score more than 80 but also less than 100 so let's execute that here we go so we have all our queries here so here for example we have 82 which is more than 80 but less than 100 so you will not find a restaurant that has a score more than 100 so here you see for example 82 and so on here we have 98 but we will never find a restaurant that has a score more than 100 okay so remember also this query it's pretty simple using just two query operators greater than and also less than okay so now let's say that we want actually all the restaurants that have an altitude value less than another value for example less than minus 95 dot something okay how can i achieve that so first of all let me just show you once again the structure of our restaurants using the function find one here we go so our goal is to have all the restaurants that has or that have actually a coordinate less than value so as you can see here the coordinate is also a nested field inside the address so we have to query the address dot coordinate in order to achieve our goal okay so let's write our query so dp dot restaurants okay dot find i will open my parentheses and also my curly braces so i want the field address okay double t here dot coordinate so make sure to write it very clearly here so i want this field to be actually what to be so i have to open here curly braces less than so we will use the operand less than lt for less than less than what for example let's say that we want to coordinate to be less than 95.754168 or 69 if you want okay 
and we close our curly braces okay so this is our simple query here all we have to do is to close our parentheses for the find method okay and here we go so here you will see that all the coordinates here would be actually less than 95 so here we have 96 and this one we have minus 157 so you will find nothing less than minus 95 okay so here we have minus 97 okay so this is also a simple query so here minus 121 okay so with this simple query we achieve our goal so you have just to make sure if you have nested field you have to make sure to precede them by the parent field then dot then you can here execute your actually nested query okay so now let me show you or remember you the structure once again so here you can see that we have a field called cuisine so we have here some every restaurant have a different cuisine for this one it has for example as cuisine bakery for this one it has American cuisine let's say for this one it has actually also some sandwiches salad makes it buffet cuisine so let's say for example that we want all the restaurants that do not prepare any cuisine of American okay so I want all the restaurants that do not have American cuisine so how can I achieve that so here we have a simple field so we don't have a nested field so we can just write a simple query using the cuisine field so I will show you let me clear the screen so let's execute tp.restaurants that find let's open our parentheses here our query braces so the field is cuisine here we go but in this case we have to open another object with curly braces so we don't have any restaurants that have an American cuisine so first of all I will here write American and the operant that actually tells us that we don't want is actually called not equal so we'll precede that by not equal okay and we close our curly braces and of course our closing parentheses here we go so ne means not equal so we want all the restaurants that have a cuisine that is not american so this is the meaning of this query so let's check that here we go so for this restaurant it has a cuisine do not okay so it's not american for this one it has a cuisine a chinese cuisine actually so you will never find a restaurant with cuisine american so here we have caribbean cuisine and here we have turkish okay that's yummy also so with this simple ne or not equal query operator we have achieved our goal to have all the restaurants that do not have American as a cuisine okay so that was just a, a brief introduction how to use actually query operators in order to query any database in MongoDB as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye